Well, hello everyone, it's Rose, and I am here to open the very last of the 44 free diamond paintings that I got in the humongous Peggy Buy haul. Look at this, the last bag is now empty. This is it. After this, there's still four more paintings that I'm going to open, but they're not part of the free painting haul. So let's open this up. Of course, I know what it is because I've opened the other 43, but, and you know what it is because it's on thumbnail at the introduction, but uh, let's, let's go through the process of being surprised anyway. I actually, I don't remember what which one I haven't opened yet. So we'll see. I hope I like this one. All right. Um, oh, okay. So this is the one that I call the pink and blue mandala. Now I opened earlier a red and blue mandala, I think it was. Uh, and it was special oh. shapes. This one is not. This one is a 30 by 30 canvas and it's round drills. So let's just um, flatten out the canvas a little bit because it got kind of bent in shipment and it's been sitting on my um, IKEA chair for the last over a month. Um, so, okay, so let's first off measure it. And I'll give you all the details. So the drill area is 25 25 by just under 24 and a half. Let me make sure that is it supposed to be square. Yep, it's just over, that's interesting. It's just over 24 and a half inches, uh, centimeters wide. So I'm going to say 25. Um, by uh, just under, uh, uh, yeah, just under 24 and a half centimeters high. So I'm going to call that 24. I round up if it's uh, a half a centimeter or more and down if it's less than half a centimeter, or if it's less than half a centimeter. Okay, so this is um, a little stubborn in terms of not laying flat. So let's see if I can flatten it a little bit. Whoops. Oh my goodness, that plastic wants to lie, lie down flat on the canvas. Right. Okay, so the colors on this canvas are super rich. And I hope that the drills are equally rich in color. Just a moment. All right, I'm going to try it and roll it this way just to see if we can release some of those creases. It's going to be hard because they, they want to stay there. Right, I'm not sure how much of that you can see. Okay, well, perhaps. Just letting it sit in the file folder for the next little while, probably months, um, will help to flatten it out. Although that's that's considerably better. Okay, so let me tell you about this. Um, so I ordered uh, 44 free diamond paintings that I had to pay for shipping on uh, on January 3rd. Uh, the shipping altogether for the 44 diamond paintings came to about $317 Canadian. And um, that worked out to $7.22 Canadian per painting. 
This painting is now no longer free. You have to pay for it, but you get free shipping. And the cost now is $10.50 Canadian. So I saved more than $3 uh, by paying for shipping instead of for the painting. So, um, so I've done very, very well on the Pe Peggy by Hall. Uh, it's worth buying their paintings when they're free. Um, I, I made a mistake early on in this series for the first, I don't know, 30 videos or 35 videos or so. I didn't realize that when I was clicking on the link uh, that it was giving me American dollar prices. So I was getting prices that were below the shipping cost that I paid, but that's because they were in American funds. In Canadian funds, I got almost every single one of these paintings cheaper by buying them free and paying for shipping. So I'm going to do a summary of that at the very end of this series um, and just just sort of give you a summary of, of the total amount that I paid and the total amount that I would have paid if I had um, paid for the diamond paintings. Okay, so yeah, let's take a look. I think that's everything I need to do there. Let's take a look at the kit that comes with it. It's got a few little bags. It's got a single placer. Um, it's got the green boat and a small piece of wax. So that's fine. I'll add that to my ever-growing pile. And I'll show you it at the end. I'll show you the, the uh, pile of um, kit materials as well because it is rather impressive. Okay. So these colors are very, very pretty. Um, let me show you first the legend. So very, very clear. A lot of darker colors. Uh, the E and the F might be difficult to distinguish. It's a good thing I've got a light pad. I think the others will be very clear. Now here, here is the drill area. Let's see where we've got some E's and F's together. So here we have some E's and F's. When they're close together it's very easy to see the difference, but I think when they're separated I'll be using a magnifying glass. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but other than that, I'm very happy with this. Uh, it looks pretty. Um, it'll take to do this, I would say, two, two and a half days. Maybe two days, something like that. Two, two and a half days, yeah. Um, so for the price I paid, that's, that's extremely um, cheap entertainment. All right. So... There's not a single color here that I don't like. So I'm just going to say right off the bat, wow, wow, wow. Love these colors. All right. One, two, three, four. Okay. I have to say it. I love this color. Oh, my goodness. Oh, man. Another one. Look at that. That is just so beautiful. Five. So that's got to be a 550. Now these don't have DMCs on it, but oh my goodness, that's just so beautiful. Seven. Again, just such a lovely color. Eight. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Nine. Pippi. Ten. Eleven. 12. That is such an interesting color. Okay, I love that. 13. 14. Jeez. 15. That's stunning as well. 16. Beautiful. 17. And. 18. Whoops. 
18, which looks like a 310. All right. I have to say, for the color alone, this is a humongous win. I love this. For those colors, I would have paid more. Um, I would never, normally never uh, buy something that's this small. Uh, the only reason I got it was because it was uh, part of the free uh, catalog that Peggy Buy was offering. And they change their free catalog from time to time. They have a bunch of different ones up. They have some that are the same as the ones that I bought. But I think every month or so they change their catalog a little bit. So I'm very interested to see what they have in, uh, in um, April. Uh, but I think I might be ordering a few more this month. Even though I promised myself I wouldn't. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe I'll be able to stave off that urge to go shopping on Peggy Buy. Uh, I, I've been very good and I haven't bought anything on AliExpress um, so far, even though the big uh, anniversary sale is on. Um, yeah, so anyway, very happy with this. Um, would recommend. Um, I don't, I haven't done any of the Peggy Buys. Uh, no, I did one. And there were more than enough drills. So if they're all the same, then I have no concerns about running out of drills or anything like that. Uh, there hasn't been a single one that was missing colors or, or uh, anything like that in the kit that was sent to me. So I'm very, very happy with their inventory control and their packaging and, and all of that. Um, they do a really good job of that. So I got to say, I'm very impressed with Peggy Buy from that perspective because as we all know, many of the stores on AliExpress uh, sometimes are missing colors. Um, and so that can be frustrating. And, you know, for those of us who, well, I'm not one of these people, but who get a diamond painting and want to work on it immediately, or if you, if you buy a diamond painting with a special occasion in mind to give it as a gift, Pippi, mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. It's okay, Pippi. We're going to go out and see all the doggies soon. Um, yeah, if, if, if there's a time crunch, then getting a painting that has missing drills, that can be really, really frustrating. I have not yet encountered that with any of the Peggy by uh, diamond paintings. So, uh, so that is a very, very good thing. Overall, i got to say, I'm very, very happy with this Peggy by haul. Um, even more so than I was earlier on when I thought that I had paid too much for the diamond paintings by paying for shipping. That is actually not the case. I think there might have been two or three that I paid too much for. And I think those were the, uh, the roses partials. There were three sets of roses. Um, and uh, I think those I paid more for by getting them when they were free than I would have if I had bought them uh, when I had to pay for the painting, but not shipping. Uh, but for all the others, I did very well uh, and I came out ahead and I'll give you the summary of that in my next video, uh, not in my next video, but in my video at the very end of this series after I open my four freebies, which is going to be the next four videos in this series. So for now, I want to say thank you to everyone for watching. If you have watched this entire series, good for you. Very impressive. That is stick to itiveness, my friends. Um, I hope you like it. If you do, and if you do like this sort of thing and this kind of series where I buy a whole bunch of paintings, well, give it a like. Let me know down below if you want me to do this kind of nonsense again, because what the heck? I will. Um, and uh, not this month, <laughs> but maybe next month. Uh, yeah, so let me know what you think. Give me your comments. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And if you've missed any of the paintings in this series, any of the videos in this series, there's a little playlist down here that you can click on, and that'll take you to all of the paintings, uh, all of the videos that I did for all of the diamond paintings that I bought in this series. So I want to thank everybody. I want you to have a wonderful, wonderful day, and I'll be back to you soon. Thanks. Bye-bye.